Hi, um, I'm Peter from Silver Archery Limited. This is a little follow up here. We've got the uh, the Kioa, bare ball Kioa that we, try, uh, we shot before. This one, if you remember rightly, was uh, 52 inches uh, AMO and it's 45 pound of 28. I think we measured it up at 44 or 46. I think it's 44.4. Uh, just going to speed check a few other arrows. People have asked us to try other arrows out. This is a um, Victory Vat V6, 400 spine, three inch shield, uh, feathers, sun yellow. Um, we've got stainless steel inserts, which are about 90, they're 92 grains. And we've also got uh, 932 bullet, pot, bullet pot piles, and they are 85 grains. So we're going to put it through the quality and see what speed we get. One eighty seven. Now there you go. This is a hunting weight arrow. It's four hundred and forty grains. Um, one hundred eighty seven feet per second. Kiowa. Very very fast. One hundred eighty seven feet per second. That's pretty fast. So it's a four hundred forty grain arrow. So this is a, a Victory V Force HV full length arrow. There's 330 grain total weight with a 100 grain pile, top hat pile. And it's a field pile. And um, four inch bar, barred shield feathers. So we're gonna shoot that a couple of times and see if we can get uh, a couple of similar readings would be good. Ninety-five feet per second. Again, this is this is a, a, a fast bow. Right, I'm just going to retrieve that arrow and we'll shoot it again. Hopefully, I can um, get 195 feet per second again. 193. That's close. I I, I can accept that. Yeah, that's that's uh, fairly consistent. Could be slightly better, but fairly consistent. Again, lovely bow. You can just. I can't stop looking at it, I can't stop looking at it, it's, it's so beautifully made. Uh, the mud carter at the, this front section here, at the back of the bow, just gives you that little bit of extra stability compared to another bow, pure wood bow at um, 52 inch AMO. Uh, but it really is absolutely gorgeously made. Uh, I, I can't remember the guy's number, it's Christoph Ungo or something like that. Um, so these are actually made in Germany with a 30 year warranty. Beautiful bow. Uh, this is the third arrow I'm going to try. This is a 28 and a half inch. Um, it's a bareport bear ba bamboo self knot arrow with four inch parabolics. It's uh, I think it's about 400. And, it is. It's 412 grains total weight. Uh, the pile is pinned on, so we think. It's most probably 100 grains. We're going to shoot that. Um, as far as I know, they don't actually offer these anymore. Possibly because they couldn't get the standard that they wanted all the time. Every time I've ever inquired from China, they, 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 they want to spine them 20 to 70 pounds. And obviously, we all want arrows that spine to within 5 pounds. And so, uh, that, there's the problem you have. These are well, not bad. Um, I think these are 45 50s, so we'll try them out and we'll, we'll see, see what speeds we get. It's 180, well, possibly I was a little bit short in the draw there, um, so we'll try that again. I'm going to take the second shot, we've got 180 with the first, uh, but I think I was short drawing a little bit, so we'll see if I can get to full draw. That was better. No, obviously I was a full draw, 179. So again, consistency. I th thought I was being short, I thought I was short drawing, but I wasn't. I'm gonna try one more, just to see if we can get that right. See if I can get 180 again. No, 173, and I felt that being short. Now I'm gonna, one more time, sorry, that was a minute. Seventy-six. What can I say? Not that consistent. 
176, 179, mine's one short, 173. Now it's not massively wrong, but I'd have preferred, I'd have preferved one, one, 179 all the way. Never mind, we're going to try another out. These, these are the uh, Bearpaw Eco Shaft, uh, the spruce shaft, full length. Uh, we've got 125 grain top hats, brass poles on the front, uh, 440 grains total weight. And um, so this is their basic entry level hour. We'll see how fast they come out with those. Now, the Kiowa. Hundred and seventy four, that's not bad. Hundred and seventy eight feet per second, that's not too shabby. Let's try that again. On seventy six, let's try that again. One seven six to one seven eight. That's 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 not bad. That's pretty pretty consistent. Uh, that's 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 a, again great great bow. And um, the economy shafts, they're, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with those. Right, this is a Victory V Force uh, six hundred spine carbon shaft with eighty five grain um, top hat piles, four inch parabolic barred fletchings. We're just going to see how this shoots out of the um, bare bulky yellow. I think I was short drawing, so we'll, we'll, we'll take, we'll grab that arrow and we'll give it another go. Three force uh, HV shafts, 600 spine, total weight 310 grains. Two oh one. Oh, okay, so it's around the 200 feet per second, it's pretty good. Let's try one more. Here we go. Two hundred two, so two hundred two hundred one, two hundred two. Twenty-eight inch draw, two hundred two hundred feet per second. That is pretty good. Uh, we did actually achieve two hundred eleven feet per second with this bow, uh, with uh, Victory Vat V six is six hundred spine with uh, eighty grain poles. Uh, they had two inch blazers and a two inch razor um, for the fletchings. That's about the fastest we've got. You could get a little bit faster, but that's still that, that was just a, a fairly substantial arrow. Uh, we'll carry down range um, at least to 50, 60 metres, so that's not a problem. Uh, but that, those would be my recommendation if you're shooting 3D. If you're shooting any other shooting, if you're going to go hunting, then you really want the 400 spine with, with about 150 to 180, maybe even 200 grains up front. Um, and that, that would mostly be your best bet using the Kiara.